G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now a new unified sharing experience is coming to Microsoft 365 across all different applications. Now the sharing dialog box in this unified experience is one of the best user experiences that I think is available across the platform. It's the same experience across wherever you are trying to share a document from, whether it's OneDrive or SharePoint or Teams or anywhere that you are sharing, even Microsoft Lists, you get this unified sharing experience. So there's a new simplified uh, dialog box that is rolling out right now and we're going to take a deep dive and have a look and compare the two in action. So we can see on the screen here on the left hand side we've got the new experience on the right hand side we have got the old experience. Now the old experience again as I've mentioned is one of the great user experiences across the platform. It's the same regardless. Now on the left hand side we've got a new simpler user interface. All right, So I've clicked the share button and we've got this dialog box. We can see that we can add a name, a group, or an email address. So we click inside here and we can select the people that we want to share this document with. Right hand side here, this pencil icon, we can see that we can choose what permissions we set. Do we want them to edit? Do we want them to review? Or do we just want them to view? Well, let's leave it with edit. Now we can also select here the groups that we want to um, set here. So here I've got two individuals and a Microsoft 365 group that we are going to share this with. I can add a message in this message dialog box. And you can see down the bottom here, I can hit the send button or I can hit the copy link button. Now, if I do the same thing across here, what we're going to see here, so we're going to select uh, some people across uh, this um, experience here. So let's go to Megan, let's uh, to Adele, let's go to Alex, um, and we'll just leave it at those two. Again, right hand side, we've got our options here, edit, review, and view. And uh, view. You can see that this, uh, the older dialog box here has got the sharing settings in this drop, drop down um, uh, menu here. But in on the left hand, in the new experience, we've got our little cog and our sharing settings are up the top like there. Now we can hit the send button or we can copy the link. Now down the bottom here, you can see in the old experience that we've got who it's shared with. On the left, comparing notes here on the on the, the left hand side, once we share this, that will appear in the bottom link, uh, the bottom section there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy the link because this is a new uh, notification as well. So when I hit copy link, we're going to then, you can see we've got a new updated uh, little notification just to inform you that the link has been copied. Now down the bottom right hand corner, you can see we can manage our access. When we click on this manage access, you can see that we've got, we've got more of a tabbed interface here. So we've got the people that we have um, shared this with. We've got the groups also that we have shared this with, and we've got the links that are providing uh, those uh, that access to those people or those groups. We can see that we've got more options and we can remove this link if we want to as well. Now, when I click on more uh, more options, we can see that we can set a few different settings here um, because what we've got here is anyone with this link can edit. Now, if I jump back across um, into uh, the manage access, we can see here that when I click the sharing settings, this is where we can change the link type. So you can see that the default in this tenant is set to anyone, but we can also say people just in Contoso or in your organization, we've got people you choose. Okay, so that's similar to this option on the right hand side here where we click this button here, and this is where we can set the, the sharing link options there. But in the new experience, we click the little uh, settings icon and the sharing settings, and this is where we can do all of that action, uh, those action items there. These three little dots here, we'll come back to that because we can directly share this in Outlook uh, and that's gonna fire up um, a new email for us to be able to uh, to be able to uh, share that with. Now, again, I'm just gonna hit the send button and that's going to then send that to those people and that group to say that they've, uh, I have shared that, uh, that link with them. So if I just close that off now, on the right hand side here, we can see that I've just shared that uh, that document and if I re-click the sharing 
icon here, we can see that this option down the bottom here, again, we can view uh, and change if we need to even remove access to people that we have shared that with. A common question that I always get is how do we remove or revoke access to documents that we have shared? Now in this new environment, in this new sharing dialog box, we can simply uh, and quickly and easily view who has got access, but we can also remove access if we want to as well. So I can, because this is an anyone link, that link gives access to the people and also the groups. So if I wanna remove that, I can just hit the delete or the rubbish bin icon here and remove that link. You'll notice that that then removes access to the group and also to those people that we have, that we originally shared that with. Now, if I jump back into, into this starting point here, and I start to, um, what we might do here is let's just change the anyone link to people you choose. We'll keep the more settings, we'll keep the editing option here, and we'll apply this. So we can then select certain people that we want to share this with. Um, so we'll let's go Adele, Nesta, and Alex. So there's three people here that we're gonna share this with. I'm gonna copy the link you'll see that we get this little notification and you'll see that we've got a notification down here. We've got, we can manage the access to three people and there's a single link that has provided access to those three people. Now what's interesting here is that when I click the links tab here, you can see the people that you specify can edit. I've got a little drop down uh, button here and I can then revoke access or remove access just to certain people as well. So let's say that I've already shared this with Adele, Alex and Nesta, but I don't want Nesta to have access anymore, right? So what I can do is hit the cross button, I can remove Nesta's access and now I've only got uh, Adele and Alex that has got access to this particular document, all right? So the new uh, unified sharing experience is coming across uh, in, in OneDrive, but that also expands across all of the Microsoft 365 services. And just as an example, if we jump into Microsoft Lists, so I'm gonna jump and open up Lists, we get that same experience. This is why I think this, uh, this sharing uh, dialog box, the unified experience here is one of the best across the platform because I can hit the share button here and I'll get that same experience, all right? This is the new one. We've just walked through it with a file and now I'm in Microsoft Lists and I'll get that same experience, all right? So there we have it, the new new unified sharing uh, dialog box and experience coming to Microsoft 365. That is your deep dive of it. Uh, watch out for it in your tenant um, to replace the older experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.